let you go. We've just heard the news of Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. You've obviously been part of Mike's team a long, long time ago. Um, talk to me about that. It's a bit of a weird one. We didn't expect that and it came out of nowhere. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, July 20th in Texas. It's going to make money. You want me to say more than that? <laughs> I like him because he has not disrespected my sport. I've been in it 50 years. He didn't disrespect. He went, he learned what he had to learn. He Jake Paul, July 20th. We got some new training footage. Busted his backside, training, doing what he had to do, you know, to, to learn the best he could learn. And he's still, he's still a, a, he's still a work in progress. And he understands that. The last time we saw Mike Tyson in the ring was back in 2020 versus Roy Jones Jr. Of course, that fight ended in a draw. Mike Tyson is too old. He still has his speed, obviously. He still has power as well. And I still think this is a dangerous fight for Jake Paul. Is there a need to say more than that? Okay, let me ask you then. Did you feel like Jake Paul was going to stay around this long and be, you know, he's done bits in, in boxing. We know with the Martin Serrano, he's got his own promotional company, that he was going to stick around and maybe make his name in the sport? I'm actually a fan of Jake Paul's. And I'll tell you why. The American dream. Once again, guys, July 20th. Leave your predictions in the comment section down below. Are you going with Tyson? Are you going with Jake Paul? Of course, Jake Paul is also coming off of an impressive performance very recently versus Ryan Bauerland. Jake Paul managed to stop him in the first round. But I don't think Jake will be able to stop Mike Tyson, even him being 57 years old. You see Mike, he still has the head movement. Still utilizing that peekaboo style, a very dif difficult style to master. He had a vision, he had a belief. He went out there, he took all his YouTube, whatever you call those freaking things, all his YouTube followers. He went to a different platform, to a different arena. As I said, he had a vision for what he was going to do. And you know what? He had the guts. He had the determination to go out there and color in that vision and um, and take risks doing it. Yeah, everyone says he's fighting old guys. He's fighting guys that aren't real boxers. He's fighting guys that, that are boxers, but they're not good box. I All that. He, but he's take, he has taken risks. He's been in there with MM guy, MMA guys that, like I said about Engano, you know, they, they might have been a little older at the time. Uh, they might not have been purely a striker. Obviously, they were UFC champions, but they were champions. They were fighters. There were guys that were in the atmosphere that Jake Paul had not been in. Jake Paul's been in three years. They have been in it for 20 years, 15 years. That was a risk. And he took that challenge. He took that challenge. And he, and he went and he succeeded. And then he fought a fight everyone wanted in, in Tommy Fury. And he lost in a competitive way. But I, I like him because he has not disrespected my sport. 
I've been in it 50 years. He didn't disrespect. He went, he learned what he had to learn. Of course, Mike Tyson will come into this fight, the much shorter fighter. All right, coach. But he's fought taller fighters his entire career. It's nothing new for Mike. But Jake Paul will have the height advantage and he will have the reach advantage as well. Uh, and I'll get in there with a guy and show that in Tyson's way, Tyson was brought up to respect the sport and to respect the history of the sport and the, and the, and the past champions. In his mind, I'm guessing, I don't know, I don't talk to him, but in his mind, he's probably thinking, no, this is for the, all the old timers, all the old champions. This is for the old school. I'm going to show that even at this age, a guy who wasn't in the game from the beginning, a guy who's not truly a fighter in his mind, is not going to beat a guy who was born to be a fighter or who was brought up to be a fighter, who, who was brought through that journey. Uh, a guy that crosses over from somewhere else is never going to beat a former champion who's been in the business basically since he's 12 years old. So it's interesting. And um, I give them both credit. Teddy, always a pleasure talking to you, always getting an inside of your boxing brain. Um, a lot of people seem to like to hear what you say about fights, which is why you've got your own podcast and everything else. But thank you so much. But he's getting better. In his last fight, he was in with nobody. I get it. but. He was more comfortable in the ring. You could see it. You know, he's seeing more in the ring, in that difficult cauldron, I call it, that, that furnace, where guys that haven't been in it before, they get burnt up. He's not getting burnt up. He's not getting evaporated because he's doing his job, because he, he believes in what he's doing. He's a tough kid. You know, he's got a lot of pride. And again, he, he went about this business trying to learn the trade the right way. So there you guys have it. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. You know, Netflix announced this fight out of nowhere. I definitely didn't see this coming. People have been talking about this fight happening for years, but it seems like the, the interest was there at one point in time, but the interest kind of went away as time went on. So this fight definitely surprised a lot of people. I also think Mike Tyson's age, I don't think anyone really thought he would still be participating in these exhibition matches at almost 60 years old. But you just saw the training footage. You know, Mike Tyson still has some speed. He still has some spout power. Obviously, he does look a little bit stiff, but that's because, once again, he's... Not disrespecting it and he's dedicated himself to it he deserves what he's gotten he's earned what he's gotten and look mike tyson of course has earned the right at this point in his life to make more money um and and to prove some whatever it is he wants to prove that uh even at this age you know to do a george foreman you know to show that you know that tyson's been a legend so now he's got a chance to show that uh all the older people out there, you know, uh, you, you still can do it. George did it with cheeseburgers, I'll do it my own way.